Good afternoon. Thanks for joining the Daily Rundown. I'm Kara Rucker. The DOJ has cracked down on one of the world's largest cyber criminal groups. And Southwest's holiday debacle has cost the company hundreds of millions in losses. But first, California Representative Adam Schiff has announced his bid for the Senate. This is Straight Arrow News, unbiased, straight facts. Democratic Representative Adam Schiff announced today he will seek the Senate seat long held by Dianne Feinstein. Feinstein filed re-election paperwork for 2024, but hasn't yet commented on whether she will seek a sixth term. Schiff has become a popular name in the Democratic Party. More and more politicians across the country are announcing their plans for 2024. The Justice Department announcing today a major cyber crackdown against one of the world's most prolific ransomware gangs. The Hive gang is known to hack company systems, then threaten to leak sensitive information on the internet unless they pay up. They reportedly swindled schools, hospitals, and businesses out of more than $100 million in extortion payments. The DOJ was able to seize its website and dismantle its digital infrastructure. The families who lost loved ones in the Boeing 737 MAX crashes in 2018 and 2019 are finally getting their day in court. Boeing is being arraigned today in federal court on criminal charges of conspiracy to commit fraud related to the two crashes that killed 346 people. The judge is allowing family members of those killed to be heard during the proceeding. Investigators blame both crashes on a flawed automated flight control system that forced the planes into uncontrollable nosedives. Federal prosecutors accuse Boeing of deceiving the FAA about the system. Two years ago, Boeing avoided criminal prosecution by entering into an agreement with the DOJ. Under the terms of the deal, they admitted defrauding the FAA by concealing safety problems and agreed to pay $2.5 billion in fines. Southwest holiday meltdown came at a cost for the company, reporting a $220 million loss for the fourth quarter. The more than 16,000 flight delays the last week and a half in December drove up the company's expenses, expected to linger into the first quarter of this year as the company compensates travelers affected by its holiday cancellations. Yesterday, we told you about two people charged for vandalizing pro-life clinics in Florida. Now a man in Illinois has been arrested for setting a Planned Parenthood clinic on fire. This man was arrested after setting a Planned Parenthood on fire following the state of Illinois passing legislation this month protecting rights to an abortion. Two days after that new law was passed, the Planned Parenthood clinic went up in flames, causing $150,000 worth of damage. It's sadly a trend with dozens of clinics both abortion clinics and pro-life centers being attacked. When we covered the attack on the pro-life centers, it was a story covered by right-leaning media, but widely missed by left-leaning media. Today, we're seeing the left pick up the Planned Parenthood attack and the right largely leaving out the story. At Straight Arrow News, we aim down the middle, whereas other media miss the target. If you'd like to learn about other stories that are being underreported by one side or the other, check out the Media Miss tool on our website so you can see the news you're missing from the mainstream. The Justice Department has found the state of Louisiana is holding more than a quarter of inmates beyond their release dates. The DOJ investigating the state's over-detention issues over the course of several years, finding what they call systemic violations. Between January and April of last year, nearly 27% of inmates released from custody were held past their release dates. That's more than 4,000 inmates. And for a quarter of them, they weren't just being held an extra day or week or two. Nearly 1,000 were kept behind bars an extra 90 days or longer. The DOJ largely blames the state's documentation procedures and says if it's not corrected in the matter of weeks, the DOJ will sue the state. Shape-shifting, electrifying robots are walking among us, or at least they could be soon. Scientists have created a liquid metal droid in the shape of a man. It can flow through the bars of a cage before rebuilding itself. It may remind you of the Terminator movies, but engineers say their inspiration actually came from squishy sea cucumbers. The silver bot was made by embedding magnetic particles in gallium, a metal with a very low melting point. 
That's going to do it for this edition of the Daily Rundown. Thanks for watching Straight Arrow News. We're on a mission to bring back trustworthy journalism by only serving you, not an agenda. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning. Until then, I'm Kara Rucker. Have a great day.